So actually, I caught this Pokemon before through this app. I love you. And then just throw the ball. But easy guy to hit the ball. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Pokemon Go. As you see a title in this video, today I'm going to go ahead and play Pokemon Go. Actually, I had never played Pokemon Go before I got married. So Whitney actually told me about Pokemon Go a year before we got married. And I downloaded it and I stopped playing the um, Pokemon Go, but it didn't last long a month or even a week so and i actually had no idea how to play this pokemon go because it's completely different from the original pokemon in the pokemon game like a game boy game boy advance or you know nintendo consoles so it's completely different oh before i move on to that point actually i just let you know the i'm making a lot of uh videos about japan and uh, something about america hopefully you can enjoy my video even a little game on my phone because i'm making a Video that is something that um, interesting to me. Hopefully you are able to learn American cultures, the difference between Japan and America from my videos. So back to Pokemon Go. So I hadn't played Pokemon Go for a while. Since I got married to Whitney, I started playing Pokemon Go more often since she knew how to play Pokemon Go better than me. So she told me how to play the Pokemon Go after we got married. Since I started Pokemon Go, I found the app, which is amazing. And I want you to tell you those who play in pokemon go it's really really useful i really highly recommend that you probably should use this app because it's amazing uh, whitney didn't even know i told her actually about this app it's called the go raid party uh this app has a little monster just standing on the app i think this these colors are all uh, represent of a red team blue team yellow team but the monster it looks like kind of like a what's his name mr mike from the monsters inc uh, from Disney, you know. Today, as you can see on the title of this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and catch Zernice. Zernice? Zernius? Zernice. If, I, if I'm pronouncing the name wrong, um, please let me know. Please leave a comment down below. So actually, I caught this Pokemon before through this app, and it's it's amazing because it's so easy to catch legendary Pokemon. The only reason that I'm gonna catch this Zernice because I'm trying to make a video about it, and then I'm trying to help you guys. If you are playing Pokemon Go, it's very useful. So I just decided to go ahead and make a video about this app. It's still entertaining, I think, even if you are not playing the Pokemon Go, hopefully. <laughs> First of all, you're definitely gonna download this app before we move on to the main part. I'm gonna leave this app link in the description down below, so you can go ahead and uh, check that in the description. All right, so I go ahead and tap this Go Raid Party. It's so simple to use it, actually. You see there are so many raid battles going on. This is basically showing the raid battle from all over the world not it's just your area so the main purpose of, of uh, using this app right now is to catch zonies once you open the app i think you have to set up some settings but i'm gonna skip the part after that you can find this page one that clearly appeared on the screen is the one that somebody is hosting the raid party if you go scroll down they're in dark it's kind of hard to see it so those are the raid battle that has been done already you can't join this those raid battle anymore not at 100 you can always join the party but so if you go see on the top of the screen you can see all and five so zernis is level five so either you're gonna tap the five like this or you can tap all so either way probably easier just tap five because zernis is a, a level five pokemon go ahead and you can you can join the team so it says error so that means uh you know it says this party is for uh, please try to join another party it's not working um, so you can just keep tapping until you uh, get invited so just tap keep tapping you can see it tapping see there you can see that now that is um, the screen once you see the screen uh, you can see that host name that's the that's the name of the player hosting this party and there's a trainer code so you can go ahead and copy trainer code you can switch to, po to Pokemon Go tap that part and then A few moments later. It's taking a little time. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, but when you use this app, make sure you have the remote raid pass. Sorry, I'm gonna go ahead and ref refresh it actually. I'm gonna go back. All right, 
So now you open it. Oh, I got uh, some. Oh, that's a fairy. Ponita. In Japanese, it's ponita. In English, I guess ponita. Ponita, something like that. Anyway, I don't need the ponita now. So go ahead and tap the uh, trainer, your own profile. Tap the friends. Uh, you can tap add friend, and uh, you copied actually the code of the host. So you tap it, and uh, you're gonna paste it the code, and you're gonna send it to uh, the trainer. And then there you go. I sent a record friend request. And then we're going back to the go raid party. Oh, party started already. So, because I took it for a while to actually open the Pokemon Go app. But anyway, so as long as you send a friend request to the host, you can get an invitation from uh, the host. And now all we're going to do is wait until the host invited you to the raid party. Sometimes the party is expired and you have to go back to the uh, Go Raid Party app and then you have to um, do the same process again. So I might have to go back to the Go Raid Party and have to do the same thing again. All right, let's do that again. 12 seconds later. So you did this, you, you sent the pro friend request and so now you notify this host to that you've added hosting the game. So you tap that, so the host know that you're ready to go to the raid battle. So you see those, um, you know, the names here, they are the one that be in the uh, um, go raid battle. The last one, number six, uh, I don't know how to read this name, but this guy hasn't been ready yet. So it's, it says not ready. Oh, now it's ready. And then, so what you gotta do is and wait until the host get ready. After everyone's get ready, switch to Pokemon Go. I guess the host is not ready, so we can just wait uh, until the host is ready. A few inches later, Tell. All right, see now uh, host is ready. So then go switch to Pokemon Go. Now go back to the front page like this. See there on the bottom right to change the color to the orange. Tap that and then you go to raid. And so see that um, the invitations from the host. So you're gonna tap that and make sure the remote raid pass, re pass is ready. And then so you go up to the battle, tap that remote raid pass. There are five players in the, uh, in the screen. Five players actually enough for feeding uh, Zernis. Until the raid battle starts, I just go ahead and uh, make sure all the Pokemon is ready. It looks like it's, it's all ready. So, and now it's a six people. You sometimes watch out that uh, sometimes pork, uh, trainers get away and <laughs> you lose all the trainers and you ended up you have to battle just one person and it's kind of a, it's annoying because um, you're just wasting the raid, remote raid pass so sometimes you better watch out yeah there are six people so it's it should be pretty easy to beat this guy's beat this guy up I don't understand like why this um, Pokemon Go system just set up the recommendation and put the uh, Aaron in it. I think it's too weak and useless, but at this point, Zuni's already got um, damage one third of his his uh, his hit point. All right, it's now it's halfway over. It's pretty easy, right? It's 180 seconds left. I'm leaving. I love you. Right. Mm. Do you want to get home? I love you. Love you too. Almost there. Yes. Easy money. It's getting shrunk. You win, yes. Golden Raspberry, Hyper Potion, Rare Candy, Charge TM. All right, now you know what to do at this point. Got a 13 Pokeballs. All right, let's go to, go ahead and catch this. Zenies. Please wish me luck, you know? I'm not sure, there's no guarantee I can catch this guy, but all right, let's do it. I already catched Zenies uh, before this video, so I, Actually, it doesn't matter if I can catch this Zernis or not. Like I said many times that I'm just trying to show you how to catch all the legendary Pokemon easily. So I'm going to go ahead and give a Golden Raspberry. See the, how big the circle is. It's so easy to hit the ball to him. So I don't want to risk, take a risk. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait. Yeah, like that. And then just going to throw the ball. Great. There you go. And oops, there you go came out but just keep giving you gotta keep giving a golden raspberry now I'm gonna wait until he move his hat and right after that I'm gonna throw this ball okay there you go and then just throw nice Oop. 
So by the way, the last time I catch this guy, I only used two balls. This time, um, I don't know, but I used up two balls so far, and there's 11 balls left. All right, there you go. And then just throw the ball. There you go. What an easy guy to hit the ball. Came out again. There you go. Ooh, man, this guy's very uh, tough. I never expect that um, I'm gonna struggle this much, but. Oop. Oh, dang it. See, that's that's what's gonna happen. So you can make sure the throw right after he moved his head. Okay, there you go. Boop, there you go. Hopefully I can catch this guy until the balls. Dang it. Hmm. <gasps> there you go. I got a great so hopefully. There you go. Yes! I gotcha. This is my second zones. I didn't want to waste uh, my remote raid pass because I don't really have much chance to get the remote raid pass, so but it's good to show everyone. So it's a fairy season and there are so many fairy Pokemons going on right now. But thank you for watching today's video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, please leave a comment down below, and see you guys on the next video. Stay Skux, enjoy your day, peace.